Well, welcome back. Uh, so, this is something I normally don't cover, but here we are. Um, oil train derailed near site of apparently an earlier terrorist attempt, officials say. Funny how it's close to the Canadian border. Um, but anyways, a firefighter sprays foam on a burning, on a burning derailed train car Tuesday um, on the 22nd. In Custer, Washington State, officials say seven train cars carrying crude oil derailed and five caught fire north of Seattle and close to the Canadian border. Watscom County officials said the derailment occurred in the downtown Custer area where streets were closed and evacuations ordered during a large fire response. Um, Bellingham, Washington, federal and local authorities are investigating a fiery oil car train derailment north of Seattle, near where two people were arrested last month and accused of attempting a terrorist attack on train tracks to, to disrupt plans for natural gas pipeline. Um, so I'm thinking they probably left some of the stuff and it happened to this train. So that's what I'm thinking happened. Um, but yeah, seven train cars carrying... Crude oil derailed and five caught fire Tuesday. Large plume of smack, uh, black smoke to the sky close to Canadian border. No injuries. And the de derailment was about 100 miles, about 161 kilometers north of Seattle. Officials were asked about se recent attempts to sabotage oil trains, but they said an investigation was just was just beginning. N have not been able to get close enough to the site to make evaluation. Watcom County. Sheriff Bill Elfo said late Tuesday, officials with the National Transportation Safety Board, along with FBI and other federal, state, and local agencies, were on the scene. News conference Wednesday, officials spoke, uh, spoke about their disaster planning. They had gone to prepare for incidents. No, yeah. Similar to what occurred with the train derailment, I just lost place. Um, they also spoke about the impact of the derailment to the surrounding environment. Could have been worse. As far as crude oil derailments and fires, this is this could have this could not have occurred in a better location, with regard to minimizing uh, environmental impact," said David Bowers, who manages disaster response for Washington State and Ecology. Last month's federal authorities in Seattle charged two people with a terrorist attack on train tracks, saying they uh, placed shunts on Burlington's uh, north, uh, northern Santa Fe tracks. Shunts consist of a wire strung across the tracks, mimicking the electrical signal of a train. The device can cause trains to automatically break and may disable railroad crossing guards. Oh, that's not good. Um, authorities said the pair were opposed to the construction of a natural gas pipeline across British Columbia when they interfered with the operation of a railroad in Washington. The FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force has said that there's been dozens of such cases, including BNSF tracks since January, with a message claiming responsibility posted on an anarchist website early this year. In one, shunts were placed in three locations in northwest Washington on October 11th, prompting emergency blank, uh, brakes to engage on a train that was hauling hazardous material and flammable gas. The braking caused a bar connecting the uh, train cars to fail. The cars became separated and could have derailed, authorities said. Homes to five oil refineries, Washington State sees millions of gallons of crude oil moved by rail through the state each week coming from North Dakota and Alberta. Seven cars derailed at about 11.46 a.m. Tuesday. Two people were on board the 108-car train heading from North Dakota to the Ferndale Refinery owned by Phillips 66. Critics of oil transport by rail car said Tuesday's incident was another example of the dangerousness of the practice they cited the 2013 fiery derailment of a train during crude 
in Lac Magantic, Quebec, which killed 47. Washington State passed a law that imposed safety restrictions on oil shipments by rail, but it was blocked earlier this year by the federal government. Um, U.S. Department of Transportation in May determined federal laws preempts the Washington law adopted last year, which mandates crude from the oil fields of the Northern Plains have more than its volatile gases removed prior to being loaded onto rail cars. Uh, Matt Krogh, uh, director of U.S. oil and gas campaigns for the environmental group Stand Earth, um, said it was difficult for state and local officials to replace restrictions on shipments of oil by train. Our hands are tied in many ways because of federal pre uh, preemption, Krogh said. And with that, that does seem to be it. Link will be in the description box below. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.